All right, I think I am live. I'm hoping you can hear me. Um, let me check my sources. Please stay tuned. Coming right back. I'm here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I'm here. I'm about to get started. Going to do a little painting. If you can hear me, say hello. Hey, Peach. Hey, Nadia. Yay. All right, so if you can hear me, say I can hear you because I just plugged a microphone in and I'm not sure if it's working. Let me know if we got some, if I've got a working microphone. Oh good, everything's good. All right, so I don't know if y'all have watched my other videos, but I just got through doing this video on these dart boards. And so I'm gonna do a dart board painting tonight, but it's gonna be more like this one right here, kind of, so. Um, so keep on watching. Like I said, I'm gonna do one a little bit more like this tonight little bit like that tonight um, I don't have my computer right in front of me so I'm not gonna be able to answer questions as much although I'm gonna try to um, Um, sorry for the delay. It's always slow at the beginning of the video. Thanks. All right, so I've got my laptop going so I can watch chat, but I have to turn around to look at it. So if you chat, if you say something, I'm excited about hearing it um, or about reading it, and I will try and answer, but obviously I'm going to try and draw first. All right, so I'm going to do this dartboard, and... Uh, I feel like I've done enough practice that I can just kind of wing it a little bit. Um, are you familiar with the rule of thirds? So if I divide this down the middle right here and this down the middle right here. Just kind of eyeballing it and what I want to do is I mean it's a dartboard and so it could easily go like right in the center but I don't want to do it right in the center I want to put the um, the emphasis which I think is going to be the the shadow like right here somewhere I want my shadow to be here or maybe here with the bullseye like right there. So both of these will be sort of the emphasis. But I also don't want to do like straight on. So I was thinking about doing 
kind of a sideways board. A little bit of uh, perspective. So I'm just kind of scribbling around until I get the right, kind of the right idea. And then I'll refine everything. hoping that it's not too off, like not too wompy jawed. Is wompy jawed a word that y'all use, Nadia? Where'd you say you were from again? Scot Scotland? Am I remembering things right? Who told me they were from Scotland? Yay, I remembered. Man, I have no memory whatsoever. So the very fact that I remembered you're from Scotland, I don't know, that kind of means something. Um, I'm trying to be a good YouTuber and remember people, especially people like Peach and Nadia that come back to see me all the time. Um, so what did I just ask you? Do they say... Um, I don't wompy jawed. That's what I said. Like I don't want this to be too wompy jawed. Do you say wompy jawed in Scotland? Uh, nope. Um, I don't even know how you spell wompy jawed. This is a, probably a southern thing. I'm in South Mississippi. Well, this is looking kind of wompy jawed. Wompy jawed is like not right, but crooked. Like that. You kind of have to make that sound effect too. Right? What is the temperature in Scotland today? Wait, see. It's Saturday night here. So what, what day is it there? I know you're like middle of the morning or something. Didn't you just get up? Wonky jaw. Yeah, well, wonky jawed, wompy jawed. Do y'all say, do y'all say wonky jawed? So, um, I'm asking too, I'm asking more questions than y'all can keep up with. Sunday, 2.38 a.m. Oh my goodness gracious. Why are you so up? I mean, so early. Why are you up so early? So, I don't know about where you're at right now, but here in South Mississippi... It was a whopping 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep, we use Fahrenheit. <laughs> Drunken call from the boyfriend. You say, hey, 
I appreciate the phone call. Call me back when you're not drunk. I'm going to watch the art project. But those were your exact words, weren't they? I'm just kidding. I shouldn't give myself so much credit. All right, so to make this a little bit more educational, this is the bullseye. This is the 25 points outside the bullseye. This is the triple ring. Can you see the canvas okay? Do I step in front of it too much? Or at all? Is my hat in the way? Alright, so if that's the triple ring, where does the double ring go? Um, Not worried about this looking too accurate, but I don't want it to look too not accurate either. I don't want it to look too wonky jawed. I'm going to start using wonky jaw instead of wonky. Do you say wonky jaw? I lost my uh, chat box. There it is. Thanks. Is Peach still there? Peach. All right, so if you saw the other video about um, painting, about the dartboard find, I found it in the dumpster. And I'm just using it as a source of inspiration for some paintings um, and for some artwork. And I don't know if anything will come of it but I'm just going to start drawing and painting and we'll see where it goes. You know what I mean? They, they might turn out to be really fantastic. They might turn out to be really lame. Who knows? But if you don't make it, you'll never know. Right? That's another part of the educational bit. Now, the crazy thing is, there's not a line right here, which I did a really good job of putting a line right there to do the rule of thirds, but there's not really a line right there. 
and we'll get rid of that line because what is there is a segment. So basically I'm going to divide it through the middle this way and then perpendicular to that this way. That is, if I can make it perpendicular, or if I can make it straight, look how bad that was. So, a line there, and a line there. Now, I've got to divide this segment right, or this section here into five parts might be easier to do it here so one two three okay I don't like is that right should it be smaller like that better. Maybe that needs to go a little bit more this way. Alright, now if I do that, if that's right, I got darts in the way. How apropos. So, I'm going to put that in the center and go this way. And then put that in the center and go that way. Oh wait, so like one right there, not there or there. Now do those segments look like they're in perspective? Kinda looks like it's wider here than it is there, which is probably not good. I'm gonna have so many lines I won't know how to I won't know which one's right. Maybe I like it the way it is. Alright, let's do this one. If this is the middle and it's not, that's the middle. And we put a mark on that side and that side. And one right there. And one right there. We got five. One, two, three, four, five. That one's a little bit bigger. All right. kind of looked right when I was doing it, but it don't look so right now. Is it close enough? You can't really tell from, can you, from, my vi from your picture. Oh, that's all good, Peach. Just checking. Cool. Sleeping pigeon, sleeping pigeon? How do you know a pigeon's sleeping? Do they sleep standing up? How do you, how do you know if a pigeon is sleeping? The dew. 
the do. All right. Oh, wait. The important part. The, the dart. Okay, if it's facing that way. This is not how I meant for that to go down. I've already messed up. That's okay. Watch, I'm gonna throw a dart. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, wait, you can't see it in the video. I'm gonna try and get it where you can see it. Did you see it? Oh, that was awful. All right, so I gotta throw a dart right in the bullseye or close so I can see it. All right, so I know this is supposed to be an art video, but I'm doing art on the dartboard. I'm trying to get it where you see it. Here, I'll change the camera so you can appreciate this a little bit more. This is cutting into art time right here. All right. Start placing bets. I've got six darts. How many of them will go bullseye? And by the way, for the record, I am not standing the proper distance from the uh, dart board. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, I know I'm, I'm a little closer to the dartboard, but still, that was unexpected. I hit that dart right in the flight. Look at this. Look at that. What? All right. I'm not real close. I mean, I'm almost the distance you're supposed to be. So I'm, I'm probably more impressed with myself than I should be. What I'm really impressed with is that I didn't hit my camera, my phone, my camera. All right, we're gonna leave this one. Because that's what I'm painting, kind of. All right, back to, back to painting. If I move the camera this way a little bit, then not only can you see better, but I can trip over the tripod. All right. Here, I'll let you get a little look at it. This is straight on. Hey, uh, there's five people watching me right now. I don't know who you all are. I hope you all say hello so I can say hello back. But in the meantime, give me a thumbs up, will you? Please? Thanks. All right, so this is what I've got drawn so far, and I'm going to do a dart that goes out from the bullseye, like this kind of, and then a shadow that goes down, and I'm going to do it in some real kind of pretty colors, I hope, and I think it's going to uh, be good. All right, so let me move this out of my way. I'm going to try not to trip over the um, tripod. And you are going to have to try to see around me as I'm painting. All right, here we go. Now, um, I'm going to start with what I know, and I'm going to paint this out here. Oh, wait. I meant to do one more thing. I got distracted.
Yeah, I didn't exactly hit the bullseye, but I'm going to draw it like I hit the bullseye. Because I'm the artist and I can. I need to learn a little bit more about perspective. I don't think my perspective is right here. By the way, Nadia, I really liked the pictures you drew of your cat. Uh, there were some other pictures that I saw, and I, but I can't remember. I remember really liking the cat, especially the ones that you drew from life. Those were good. So there's the dark, for better or for worse. And then you don't see the shadow. I know you don't see the shadow, because neither do I. I'm making that junk up all the way. Artistic licensing here. I painted outside the lines. What am I, a child? Fergie and Rufus, the cats. I don't have any pet. Well, I do have, I have some chickens. I have chickens. And not because I'm in Mississippi. I actually live in the city. I basically have chickens because I live in the city. And, well, it's the only rule I really feel like breaking comfortably. And honestly, it's not really a, a rule. Um, you can have chickens. Just nobody knows that really. And people don't do it in the city very often. Over here. So... All right, I'm going to do all my mixing on this canvas, pretty much, I think. And so I'm putting down some blue, and I'm going to add some red, and then I'm going to add some black. And I'm just going to make it, like, really dark, but also really colorful. My brush is kind of messed up, and so I'm making some really kind of crappy strokes.
So it just occurred to me that like later on, people will watch this video maybe and they'll hear me talking, but they won't necessarily be reading the comments on the side and they'll have no idea what I'm talking about when I mention Fergie and Rufus. Just kind of sounds like I started talking randomly about, I think I did say something about your cats, Fergie and Rufus. But still, like, why is he talking about cats and painting a dartboard? This guy's weird. Okay, so I got a sufficient amount of red down there. I mean, blue down there. Now I'm going to add some red. I'm just going to layer these colors all up and make this dark. Yeah, you know, I think I watched like one of your YouTube videos and I have not had a chance to watch any more of them. And I was thinking about that last time when you were on, I mean, last time when I was on and you were watching, I was like, oh, I need to go and watch some more of her videos, but it has been a while. So I will try and make it a point this time around this week. Do you go on live? I don't, um, I don't, I have never gotten a notification saying you were on live. Maybe I need to tap the bell, right? go any further I'm going to do these wait one two that my center one two three four five My uh, painting instructor in college used to tell me all the time, switch brushes, switch brushes. Don't use the same brush all the time. I was horrible. And I still am because I'm like, all right, I've got the color I want right here in this brush, but I actually need a smaller brush, don't I? So I'm gonna have to switch colors. I mean, switch brushes. But I've got a brush right here, so this should not be a problem. So if anybody that is taking AP Studio Art ever watches this video, let me give you a little bit of advice. Go with what you know. Like, I know that a lot of times we feel insecure, like we can't paint or we can't draw, and so we don't want to 
mess stuff up by doing this, but just start with what you know, all right? Just put something on the canvas. Nadia, would you say that that's good advice? Even if you, uh, if you, if you're feeling insecure at any point, just put something on the canvas, right or wrong, do something and you'll feel better about it and you'll surprise yourself in the end, you know, you'll surprise yourself at how well you do and you get work done. And to me, I think that's like one of the most important things as an artist. It's not necessarily how good your artwork is, but that you get work done. The more work you get done, the better you get at painting or drawing or whatever your trade is. And um, the more work you have done, I think the more people take you seriously. But just go with what you know and you'll learn as you go, right? Yay, Nadia agrees. Thank you, Nadia. Um, I've got a bunch of students. Well, I don't actually have any students right now, but I teach high school and I will have students later and hopefully some of them will watch this video um, for the sake of AP, for the sake of education, for the sake of learning I might even have some AP teachers watching or showing their classes. And so my advice to all of those people that might watch this video in the future is go for it. Don't hold back. Make art. That's what you're here for. Um, the more you make, the more bad stuff you have permission to make. So like, you know, if you're not making anything because you think it's going to be bad, well, it might be. I mean, it just very well might be. You can make, you can make bad art, in my opinion. Uh, I've seen too much of it to disagree. But every time you make art, you get better. I'm wielding two paintbrushes. I feel like I've got two swords in my hand. By the way, I don't know if y'all can tell this, but I'm just kind of like slapping the paint on here. Okay, maybe I'm not slapping it as fast as I think I am, but I'm not controlling it a whole lot. I'm not um, painting inside the lines very well. Just kind of getting it down on canvas. Get it down on the canvas. We'll clean it up later. Okay, maybe I am following the lines a little bit here. Now, I realize I did something a little bit wrong here. Well, okay, maybe it's not really wrong, but like this is a shadow, and so this has got to, I mean, this is a shadow, and so this has got to be darker than this is, and this is freaking dark. Do they say freaking in Scotland a lot? I mean, when they're not using other expletives? Uh, th this is oils. I'm using oils right now. Oh, and I just got outside the line really bad. It's okay. I'll fix it later. So 
so like I'm mixing this color up as I go like I didn't mix up a big batch of this color and I'm just kind of putting some blue down and then I'm putting some red down and then I'm putting some more blue down or whatever however it seems to come to me and um, so the secret maybe this is my secret I don't know if this works it's not really a secret because I'm about to announce it live on YouTube but um, I just if I when I'm painting here if the color turns out different well, I'll just go back over here and and put a little bit of it on here so it matches a little do you do that and then since this is oil paint this over here is still kind of wet so I can take this and come back over here and do this one and then this will match Just kind of come over here and grab some of this paint, put it over here, grab some of that. Because I really, everything I've done so far is supposed to be like the same color. It's the same color on the um, dartboard. Another little secret to tell you, not a secret, is um, do the top of it, do the edges of the canvas as you're going and you won't have to come back and do it later. Hopefully I'll frame it up, you know, with a big nice black or gold frame or something, but until then, I want it to have something on it because otherwise it just kind of looks a mess and it doesn't look very presentable. But if this color right here is right there too, then that's a good sign. All right, we'll do one more right here. And by the way, this is really kind of sort of just an underpainting. It does not necessarily have to be my final, you know, like whenever I'm done right here, I can, if it looks good, I can leave it. But if it doesn't look good, I can go back on top of it. This is the underpainting. <laughs> Try not to swear too much. Um, I tell my students that um, if you um, if you don't cuss, no one will really ever notice. If you don't swear, nobody will ever notice that you are really not a swearing person. But if you cuss. If you do swear, you may offend somebody, um, or you may not get that job that you're looking for because your boss heard you, or I don't know. It can impa impact you negatively. Not that I don't occasionally use a swear word or a cuss word. But... Um, but it can impact you negatively, and so I try not to do it. But I probably go weeks without saying a cuss word, because it's just not a part of my everyday language. Everybody around me uses it. 
Does that look like a dartboard? Hey, it looks kind of like a dartboard. I'm looking in the camera, and it's looking like a dartboard. All right, but now I need to go for another color, and I'm just gonna get, I'm not even washing my brush out, man. I'm just like, I'm gonna grab some of this yellow with some purple still in my brush. And what color will that make? But a tan. And then I'm going to get some white and mix with that. All right, so I'm mixing some color. Just like I said, I wasn't doing a minute ago. I'm actually mixing color on my um, palette right now. Not sure if that's the right tan I need. But we're going to call it right. I've just switched over to the little brush. It seems to be big enough for what I'm doing. Don't forget to paint the top while you're painting the sides. I mean, don't forget to paint the sides while you're painting the front. And then move your colors around so they mix up. I think I saw that um, video about it being a painkiller, but I don't remember. Well, um, I say that um, if it helps you relieve pain when you stump your toe, then by all means go for it. Otherwise, no point. I, uh, I've stumped my toes several times and did not cuss. And while the cussing might have relieved some pain, apparently it wasn't too necessary because here I am and I don't even remember the pain. Well, I mean, I kind of remember, you know, stumping my toe and it was awful. Um, the other day, uh, I was walking out of my back door and I fell down the steps and I hurt my back really well I didn't hurt my back really bad but I I left a bruise on my bum a nice big bum bruise and I did not cuss on the way down there were there were a lot of things crossing my mind but I, I did not say any swear words that I recall and I still have a bruise on my butt and it's tender, but I don't feel like I have any, um, I, mean, I don't feel like swearing is really going to help it much. And I survived. But I'm not saying you can't swear when you fall down and um, bump your bum. I'm just saying, um, while it, it might take, it might help the pain, I don't think the pain in those circumstances is so severe that cussing is going to help. I don't know. And how do you, how did, the, I remember watching that video. I'm pretty sure I remember watching that video, but I'm having a hard time remembering how they, how they tested that. I'm going to have to go back and watch it again. But do you think like, and this is, Something I've really got no, um, what's the word I'm looking for? No frame of reference for, but do you think like if you had a, a child, if you were in the middle of giving birth, would, um, would swearing be, be as good or better than the uh, 
anesthesia. What do they call that stuff? The epidural? Now, it's been a long time ago, but I don't remember my wife cussing a whole lot when she was giving birth to my child. Oh, they used hands in ice water to test it. Right. Um, I do recall that. But how do they know that the people actually felt less pain than they would have if they hadn't cussed. Oh, wait, I think I remember that too. They, um, they tested a bunch of different subjects and the ones that cussed reported less pain than the ones that didn't cuss. But still it seems really so sort of subjective. Like, I go to the chiropractor and the chiropractor tells me to tell him on a scale of one to 10, How bad is the pain in your shoulder or how bad is the pain in your back? And then, you know, I'm like, well, it's an eight. It hurts. It hurts really, really, really bad. But then I think, wait, I don't know. I mean, getting in a car wreck and having my arm smashed between two semi trucks or something that's got to be more of an eight or a nine or a ten than my back pain is what if my back pain is really just a three compared to i don't know having your testicles smashed <laughs> i went from arm to testicles uh you know So what if the people who did all the cussing during the, um, during the testing, maybe they were all somehow or another um, more pain tolerant, or maybe they had less of a frame of reference. This is supposed to be an art video and <laughs> So I'm just rambling. Um, I need to go back and watch the video again, Nadia. Um, but obviously I don't have time for that right now because I'm in the middle of painting this amazing dartboard and really jacking up some colors. Um, I've gone from like a, I don't know, I don't know, like my, my tan is changing as it goes on, goes around. So I'm just gonna have to do like I did before. And make some of this color in over here, and here, and here, and here, and put it right there.
<laughs> it's totally okay. You're the only one uh, talking to me, Nadia. Um, if it weren't for you talking to me, I would be standing here quietly painting this dartboard. And I think there would be like this long, awkward silence on my video. I don't know. I appreciate you giving me something to talk, someone to talk to and stuff to talk about. What color would you say all of this is, Nadia? What color do you call this, these, these lines right here? These segments that I'm working on currently. What color do you call that? sort of looks towards yellow ochre to you. Um, does it need to be tanner? Or like redder? Now I think I'm going to go with it the way it is right now. Just for now. Anyway. Oh, you know what? I want to do something else while I got this yellow ochre color going. I'm going to put a lot of blue in it. And I'm going to paint I didn't come out at all like it meant for it to. I used to have a really good mall stick and I've lost it. up a little bit
Thanks. Thank you. So I wanted my shadow to be like a, a dark blue or violet, but then I made all of the um, segments dark blue and violet. So that was kind of a mistake. Do they look uh, red-violet on the video? I'm channeling my inner Bob Ross with happy mistakes. So like last week, I was um, I did a portrait of John Part, a dart, a, a champion dart player, and um, I didn't intend on this becoming a thing, but it has. Uh, so I was going to do. Uh, you know, I don't know, somebody's birthday, you know, whoever's birthday it was, you know, look all that up or what happened this day in history and do stuff like that. But I'm kind of digging this dart scene right now, this dart board. And I don't know why or how long it'll last, but I thought I better go with it while I could. So uh, I was going to ask you, like at the beginning of the video, Nadia, what is the temperature in Scotland today? 
or what was it yesterday? What was the highest it got? Oh, what is it? Darts? Yeah, darts is a good game. Good, good classic game. People can relate to it. I think, like internationally, people can relate to it. All right, I need to do the shadow. Probably kind of hard to see that shadow. I'll try and make it more visible in a few minutes. Uh. Must have an IVC root beer. Cream soda. Becoming a tradition on my videos. Wisconsin has been hot. Schwartzen. Schwartzon. Am I saying that right? Schwartzon? Welcome to the party. So Wisconsin was really hot today. I was telling them earlier, Mississippi was really hot today at 112 degrees on the Gulf Coast. So I'm colorblind, and when I painted my first dartboard the other day, I did this whole ring all the way around, and this one too, I did them all red, and I showed it to my wife. I suspected something was wrong. I looked at the dartboard, and I was like, wait a minute, those aren't the same colors. They're actually red and green.
Uh, excellent. So, Schwart. Uh, no, I don't remember how I said it. Schwartzen. And uh, you've a have you added this on? Because uh, Schwart is not not Japanese, is it? Mm. Eleven degrees Celsius, twenty-six degrees Celsius, so seventy-nine degrees. Oh, nice, nice in Scotland. I need to be going to Scotland today. It is too hot on the coast, and I hate the heat. Let me just <clears throat> slap this paint on there wherever I want to, however messy I want to do it. Ninety is um, ninety degrees is hot, but I'm not going to complain about ninety degrees ever again now that it's been a hundred and twelve here today. I tried to work outside for a little while today, and uh, man, it got so hot I got sick. Add that red to this that I did not add a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, 90 with the humi humidity while milking cows. Yeah. Uh, have your cows had heat exhaustion? How many cows do you have? some green in here a little bit of white actually a lot of white 
This is not the same green that is on my uh, dartboard, on my real dartboard, nor is it the same green that is on my painting. Is that the, is that green tolerable? Can you see that? I'm gonna do one right here. What do you think of that green? Should I go with that green or do I need to make a yellow green? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go with this green. And if you, my audience, think that it needs to be a yellow green, say something and I'll add yellow green to it. And I'll add yellow to it. There's kind of a delay. I ask a question and five minutes later on the chat, y'all answer. So I'll have this whole thing painted before I realize. You like the green? Darken it ever so lightly. All right. Like, how about a darker, like a darker green? Like this. That's not much darker. That's ever so slightly. I'm not sure I darkened it enough. <clears throat> cool. Glad y'all like it. You can be honest with me. You're either in Wisconsin or um, uh, Scotland. There's no way I'm going to have to. I'm, no way I'm going to drive up there and be mad at you, tell you off or anything. I'm not going to drive up there and cuss at you. Be honest. I'm colorblind, so I need the I need the color advice. Thank you. Thank you, Schwartzon. Schwartzon.
Almost missed one. Yeah, they probably are a bit muddy, um, cause I'm, I'm just like smearing it in there and I'm not changing brushes like I probably should. And, uh, I have gotten it a little, I've gotten a little bit of the other color on there. But I'm gonna give y'all a little close up here. Kind of. Give you the straight on look. It is a bit ragged, like if you look at it straight on, it is kind of crazy. Um, but I'm gonna give you a real close up. Now I'm ashamed of it. And it looks really good from a distance in the camera. But I know that's not like how everybody's going to see it. So I will have to clean everything up a bit. But I'm just kind of roughing it out right now. It's my mixtape. It ain't been... It's my... I don't know. Um... See, I kind of made the mistake. All right. We're back on. I'm back on. Except for my video. It's facing the wrong direction. See, I hadn't even got that much done. You didn't miss anything. Apparently my phone will not say, uh, will not do video that long.
Yay. Thanks for not leaving me. I, uh, my phone died. So I had to plug it in, which means my audio is probably different. I don't know if you can hear me as well as you could before. The microphone plugs into the same same jack that the uh, charger plugs into. So, but I just had to paint more and talk less. Thank you for coming back, short son. Thank you for coming back, short son, Nadia, and whoever else is watching. For not leaving me alone in my misery. All right, I'm not miserable. I'm just kidding. I feel great. Other than being really tired from heat exhaustion this morning. So I figure if I put in this uh, actual dart, I'll feel better about the whole thing. Song. I, have to, I have to practice saying your name. Um, too many different things going on at the same time. I do acrylic painting, I do oil painting, I do pen and ink, 
and I've got a cup of water for oil paints, I've got a cup of water for acrylic paints, and I've got a cup of water for um, ink, and uh, yeah. the dark is gold. This part right here. And I'm thinking about getting some actual gold paint to paint it. But I'm just going to go with yellow for a second. That's going to take a lot of work. The silver part of the dark right here is buried pretty deep. some adjustments, a lot, of, a lot of adjustments right there. Before I do a lot of adjusting, Is that color close enough? think you want all of that to be all that background what do you think a good color there would be well I was just trying to pronounce it the way it looks Schwert Schwert song Schwert song um, address all of those comments. Um, you should try video in your art sometime, put it up on YouTube. You got a little channel you can do. Uh, I don't know what you've already done or what you know about it, but um, the very fact that you're on here now tells me you could um, uh, you could put a video on and uh, you do theater. Awesome. We have a, a drama department at the school that I teach at, um, and you know, like I don't like watching my own videos. Honestly, um, I uh, will watch one every now and then. You know, like if I if I did a really if I feel like I did a really good job, some of my videos. But for the most part, I can't even stand to like watch. You know, like like edit the video. I'll edit it, and I'll do the monologue or yeah, monologue. But I don't like to go back and listen to it to see if I said anything wrong or did anything wrong, because I just can't can't deal with that. But apparently, some people like me. I got some subscribers, um, so I'll let them watch, and I'll just make. Um, and uh, what was the other? Blues and greens. Maybe a pale pastel color to contrast the artboard, the dartboard. How about some blues and greens pastel? Some blue and green pastel. Ooh, like pastel blue. 
I don't know, pastel blue. Seems kind of like a little, like a little child's room, and you wouldn't find a dartboard in a child's room. With that being said, I'm starting to think maybe some brown, like it's a, like it's a tavern wall or something. What do you think about some kind of brown? Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Dark wood grain, like a pub, like like a brown, like a burnt sienna or a burnt umber. Let me see what I got. I got burnt umber. I've got. We got burnt umber. That's not really very dark. You know what else I've got? We're gonna mix it up. I've got some burnt sienna and acrylic. What? Acrylic? can't mix acrylic and oils. Well, I'm not going to. This burnt sienna looks like pudding. Alright, I'm not going to mix these up. I'm just going to paint this in the background. And I can always paint over it with oil. Uh, that is some nasty looking paint. That stuff's probably 500 years old. Okay, I haven't been painting that long, but that's like some really old stuff right there. Uh, oh, gross. Look at that. Can you see that? Look at that. Nasty. I'm going to smear it in and make it work. I'm going to take, I've got some water right here in a spray bottle, and I'm going to spray it with this. Ugh, it's running off my canvas. So, like, I know this is not going to be very appealing, so I'm going to fix it later. But this is just going to be my background for right now. Don't judge me on the condition of my burnt sienna. I got to pick the. Look, it's a, it's a paint turd. Ugh. But it works. It has not completely ruined. It started to congeal. This is supposed to be a family show, and here I am painting all Sienna paint turds on my canvas. I got it on my finger. Uh, this show went a whole new direction just now. trying to appeal to a younger generation so I'm I'm using um, potty humor just kidding no potty humor so I, I missed all right so smoky wood years of pipe tobacco that first drink is something Paint looks like poop, I had to say, say. Wow, that paint has disintegrated. This is great, I'm laughing. <laughs> Me too, actually it is looking better. So like, here's the thing, I mean, I guess the, the key to doing a great painting is just putting um, poop on it. I know that can't be true.
you know, like a background is like 100% of a picture, not 100%. Uh, um, a background, look, I'm gonna squirt some more turret on there. Here comes some, some raw sienna turd, burnt sienna turd. My mama would be like rolling over in her grave if she knew I used the word turd so many times on video. why you shouldn't stop paint your paint sit around idle it does this you should keep painting keep painting don't stop use your paint faster than it can spoil like I'm pulling double duty right now I am I am painting and be my own cameraman at the same time. I can honestly say that my painting looks like crap right now. Like, if it didn't before, it does now. tell how wonky jawed my whole picture is here we go full circle back around to the beginning my, my painting is wonky jawed again <laughs> some, some dirty cow tails I don't need any poop I got I got a whole little uh, all right I can, you said I can get you as much poop as you want I don't really need any I've got a whole tube of it what's well, brown and sticky a stick that's like one of my favorite jokes I've heard that one before calf scours look like that what's a calf scour Makes the kids laugh. You've been to St. Andrews and a little place called Kinross, just north of Edinburgh. Okay, now all of a sudden y'all are talking with each other and you're leaving me out. That's all good. All right. Um, the side of this is like a, 
silver band, but it's not real silver, it's kind of gray. So I'm just going to do some, um, some white and black. Just a little white and black, gray. I had not asked what calf scours are, and um, I knew you weren't leaving me out of the conversation, Nadia. I was just teasing you. Hey, look, it's dripping. I'm an artist. Andy Warhol says you're not really an artist unless you use drips. My dartboard is definitely wompy jawed. It's like crushed on this side, not so much on that side. But guys, I don't think I have the energy in me to care about it right now. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of this. See if I can't scoop some of this nastiness off and put it on there. I'll do something else, you know, fix it up. So here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think I've done everything I can do to this tonight. I have no more energy. No more anything so if you enjoyed this little program thus far give it a thumbs up and um, maybe this coming week I will work on this some more and I will put it like I guess kind of a part two to this video up I'll post a part two and you can see if I made any changes to it which I'm definitely going to um, and you can see, you know, what it looks like from there. All right. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. And um, thanks, Nadia. It was nice chatting with you, too. Thank you for the, the 
comment about the gray. I need to put a little shadow behind the board right there. I'll do that later on. Watch for um, part two of this video. Go back and watch some of the other videos. Uh, Schwartzson, go back and watch some of my other videos. I hope you enjoy those. Uh, subscribe, thumbs up, comment, share, all that kind of stuff. Thank you all so much. I got to go to bed now. I'm heat exhausted. Good night.